Mm's biology. So here, let us discuss some of the PYQs from the lesson biological classification from the topic Kingdom Monera. So this is a continuation video of our before video. So now let us see these questions. See the question, the most abundant prokaryotes helpful to the humans in making curd from the milk and in the production of antibiotics are one categorized as, see the options, cyanobacteria, B, archaebacteria, C, chemosynthetic autotrophs and D is heterotrophic bacteria. So, they are asking the prokaryotes which are useful for the formation of the curd. You uh, we know that the bacteria which is useful for the formation of the curd from the milk is lactobacillus bacteria and this lactobacillus bacteria belong to the group of the bacteria which are called as heterotrophic bacteria. So let us answer this question and see whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So now let us proceed to the next question. So see the next question. Which of the following are likely to be present in the deep sea water? See the options here. A is blue-green algae. B, saprophytic fungi. C, archaebacteria. D, eubacteria. So, the bacteria which are present in the deep sea water are a type of bacteria which are called as archaebacteria. So, this information we have learned when we are studying about the characteristics of the archaebacteria. So, let us answer this and see whether our answer is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So, they have given the explanation also. So, archaebacteria live in the most harsh habitats. Some are halophiles, some live in the hot springs and some even live in the marshy areas which are called as methanogens. And even they live in the deep sea water. Okay. So, now let us proceed to the next question. See the question. Why is capsule advantageous to the bacterium? See the options. It protects the bacterium from desiccation. B. It provides means of locomotion. C. It allows bacteria to hide from the host immune system. D. It allows the bacterium to attach to the surface. So, these are the four options which are given. Usually, why the capsule is formed in the bacteria means it helps the bacteria from the resisting it from the host. Means host pro, uh, produces, host immune system produces a lot of uh, acids as well as anti antibodies to uh, fight against the antigen. So, we know that antigen is here, the bacteria. So, to protect uh, protect this uh, from the host immune system what the bacteria do they provide means they uh, they form a capsule around them so that they will be protected from the host immune system means host antibodies so here the correct option is c let us answer this and see whether our option is correct or wrong yeah it is correct now see the explanation here capsule is a layer which is uh, uh, present outside the cell wall of bacteria. This capsule protects the engulfment by the eukaryotic cells such as macrophages, means these are produced by the host. And they also uh, protect them from so many uh, antibodies which are produced by the host and even the most hydrophobic toxic materials such as detergents. So this is like the protection layer for the bacteria from the host immune system. So now let us see the next question. Archaebacteria differ from the eubacteria in A. Cell membrane structure B. Mode of nutrition C. Cell shape the mode of reproduction. Mainly, the difference from the archaebacteria to that eubacteria is the cell membrane structure. Okay, so yeah, it is correct answer. So they differ from the bacteria mainly in the cell wall structure, that is cell membrane structure. Here, they lack the what is called as peptidoglycan in the cell wall. Okay. Um, they possesses what they are. They possesses a monolayer of a branched fatty acids, which are attached to the glycerol. Uh, so, which is different from that of the U bacteria, where they uh, they processes uh, uh, what peptidoglycan layer of the cell wall. Whereas in the case of the archaea bacteria, they doesn't 
possess this peptidoglycan glycan uh, layer, cell layer, they possess a monolayer of fatty acids which are attached to the glycerol. Okay, so now let us proceed to the next question. Which structure perform the function of mitochondria in the bacteria? We know in the bacteria they are um, means these uh, layered organelles are absent. Yes, layered. Uh, so now we will see which structure which is similar to that of the mitochondria are present in the bacteria which performs what is called as respiration. So see the options here: nucleoid. B is ribosomes. C is cell wall, D is mesosomes. Actually, uh, mesosomes are the structures which are present only in the bacteria, which are engulfment-like structures, which perform the respiration in the case of bacteria. Okay. So, let us answer this. Yeah, it is correct. In some bacteria, the plasma membrane forms invaginations or foldings, which are called as mesosomes. These mesosomes helps in respiration as well as secretion, which is similar to that of the mitochondria. So, now let us proceed to the next question. The motile bacteria are able to move by, means when the bacteria are able to move, it is by, see the options here, fimbriae, B flagella, C cilia and D pili. So, actually, the motility is by flagella. This we have learned before. Yeah, we will answer this and see whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So, flagellum is the organ of motility in the case of bacteria. Okay. So, uh, they have given it is equivalent to the single microtubular fiber and is formed by the protein which is called as flagellin. flagellin. They perform even the rotatory movements also. Now, let us see the next question. Anoxygenic photosynthesis is characteristic of A. Rhodospirillum, B. Spirogyrum, C. Is Chlamydomonas, and D. Is Vulva. So, these are the options which are given. So, we have to see which one is performing what is called as photosynthesis in the absence of oxygen. So, the correct option is Rhodospirillum. So, this is the bacteria which performs the photosynthesis in the absence of oxygen. So, let us see whether our option is correct. Yeah, it is correct. So, here the explanation is also given. Rhodospirillum is an electron donor. Okay. And which is, uh, that electron donor is a component, means uh, which is an organic compound which is used during the photosynthesis. Now, let us proceed to the next question. The structure that helped some bacteria to attach to the rocks or in the means or the host tissues are mesosomes, B hold fast, then C rhizoids, B fimbriae. So they are asking which structures are helpful in the bacteria for its attachment to the host tissue. So actually the fimbria are the structures which are uh, characteristics of the bacteria which help them to attach to the host tissues. Let us answer this and see. Yeah, fimbria are small bristle like solid structures which are arising from the bacterial cell. Okay, these fimbria are about 300 to 400, uh, means there are about 300 to 400 fimbria present in a bacterial cell. They are very small and they are involved in mainly attaching the bacteria to the solid surface, mainly the rocks or the water bodies or even the host tissues. Okay. And some fimbriae causes even agglutination of the RBCs. They help in mutual clinging of bacteria. So our correct option is D. Now let us proceed to the next question. Pick up the wrong statement. See the statements here. They have given the statements and we have to pick up the wrong one. Some fungi are edible. Okay. Nuclear membrane is present in Monera. Cell wall is absent in Animalia. D. Proteins have photosynthetic and heterotrophic modes of nutrition. We have seen that Monerans are the um, bacteria which include bacteria where the nuclear membrane is absent. Yes. So many times we have underlined that word. So we have to answer that only. So nuclear membrane is absent in Monera. So, it is correct. Now, let us proceed to the next question. So, these questions are very easy. If you have followed all the videos from uh, the starting PYQs, so now these questions which are present in the ending of the lesson seems to be very easy. So, now let us see the next question. Cell wall is absent in mycoplasma, 
Nostoc, Aspergillus, as well as Funaria. Here it is also very easy. We know mycoplasma are the organisms which lack the cell wall. Yeah, mycoplasma, which belong to the kingdom Monera, are the simplest in the free living prokaryotes, which is devoid of cell wall. It is characteristic of mycoplasma. And plasma membrane forms the outer boundary of the mycoplasma. And uh, whereas nostoc, which is a cyanobacterium, where cell wall is present, it comprises of peptidoglycan. And aspergillus belongs to the kingdom fungi in which the cell wall is present which is made up of chitin and funaria it belongs to the kingdom plantae okay it is a bryophyte and here the cell wall is present which is cellulosic in nature so our correct option is a that is mycoplasma so now let us proceed to the next question true nucleus is absent in so the nucleus which is not uh, real nucleus it is absent in vocheria volvox anabina and muca. So here also we know that anabina is a cyanobacterium which um, which belongs to the kingdom Monera where the true nucleus is absent. So we have to answer that only. Yeah, anabina is a prokaryotic organism. It belongs to the cyanobacteria. We know that cyanobacteria belongs to the kingdom Monera. Like all the other prokaryotes, even cyanobacteria lack a true nucleus, uh, even the nuclear membrane and even the other cell organelles. Okay, so now let us proceed to the next question. Methanogens belong to, see the options here, A, eubacteria, B, archaebacteria, C, dinoflagellates, D, slime molds. So we know that methanogens are a group of bacteria which are called as archaebacteria. Archaebacteria contains halophiles, dermoacidophiles and methanogens. So Methanogens belongs to the archaebacteria. So these are the obligate anaerobes which are found in the oxygen deficient environment such as marshes, swamps, uh, which are used in the sewage, uh, even the sludge which are formed during the sewage treatment and the digestive system of even the ruminants. Okay. So now let us proceed to the next question. Which one of the following statements is wrong? You bacteria or the false bacteria? Phycomycetes are also called as algal fungi. Cyanobacteria are also called as blue-green algae. D. Golden algae are also called as desmids. So here the first option by seeing only we can say that you bacteria are the true bacteria. Always when we are saying you it means true. They have given you bacteria is false bacteria. So this is the statement which is wrong. Yeah. So let us answer this. Yeah. This is correct. Now let us proceed to the next question. The primitive prokaryotes responsible for the production of biogas from the drunk dung of the ruminant animals include the see the options methanogens. B, eubacteria, C is halophiles, D is dermoacidophiles. So, this is the methanogens which are, helpful, which are helpful in the formation of biogas from the dung of the ruminants. Okay, we will see. Yeah, methanogens are the microorganisms that produces methane as a metabolic product in anoxic conditions, means in the absence of oxygen. They are obligate anaerobes and these are the primitive bacteria. They are involved in the process which is called as methanogenesis. Now, let us proceed to the next question. Which of the following are found in extreme saline conditions? So, by seeing the question only without seeing the options, we can say they are archaebacteria which live in the extreme saline conditions. They are halophiles. Yes. See the options again. U bacteria, B cyanobacteria, C mycobacteria, D archaebacteria. We know it is archaebacteria. Yeah, it is correct. Now, let us proceed to the next question. Which among the following are the smallest living cells known without a definite cell wall, pathogenic to the plants as well as animals and can survive without oxygen? See the options here. Okay. So, Pseudomonas, B, Mycoplasma, C, Nostoc and B, D is Bacillus. So, they lack the cell wall. Okay. They are the smallest living cell. We know among these four, Mycoplasma is the smallest living cell. We know that even it doesn't have cell wall. Okay. And it is a pathogenic even to the plants. And it is anaerobic in nature. Okay. So, it is 
mycoplasma let us answer this yes mycoplasma are the smallest prokaryotes which lack the cell wall and they are pleomorphic in nature means they change the shapes they are pathogenic to the both plants as well as animals now let us proceed to the next question dna replication in bacteria occurs within the nucleus prior to the fission just before transcription during the S phase. So DNA replication in bacteria normally occurs just prior to the fission means just before the fission. In bacteria replication occurs in the cytoplasm prior to the fission. Prokaryotes due to their primitive nature they do not uh, show what is called as S phase. Okay. Normally in the S phase, the replication occurs. So they do not show the S phase. So it occurs just prior to the fission. So now let us proceed to the next question. Which of the following components provide sticky character to the bacterial cell? C here, nuclear membrane. B is plasma membrane, C is glycocalyx, D is cell wall. So, the glycocalyx are the components which are uh, forming what is called a sticky character uh, for attachment to the host cells in the case of bacteria. So, let us see. Yeah, it is correct. So, what is this uh, glycocalyx? It is the outermost mucilage layer um, of the cell envelope. Okay, it consists of what? Non-cellulosic polysaccharides with or without proteins. So, because of this formation of glycocalyx, it forms a sticky layer in the case of bacteria, which helps in the attachment to the other cells. Now, let us see the next question. Oxygen is not produced during the photosynthesis by cycles, green sulfur bacteria, C is chara, and D is nostoc. Usually, it is uh, means uh, uh, during the photosynthesis oxygen is not produced by what are called as green sulfur bacteria yeah green sulfur bacteria do not use water as a source of proton okay so when they are not using uh, water as a source of proton they use some other ions uh, then O2 is not liberated during the photosynthesis okay so it is the correct answer Select correctly which scientific name of mango was first, de first described by Carl von Linnaeus. Mangifera indica, Mangifera indica, Mangifera indica, Carl Linnaeus, Mangifera indica, Lin. So here we have discussed uh, when we are writing uh, the binomial nomenclature, first word is the generic name and the second word is the second uh, epithet is the um, species name and which is followed by the scientist name. And we even know that the, um, the genus name has to be in a capital letter. Species name must be in a small letter, which is followed by four letters of the scientist. We know that Mangifera indica is a, uh, means it is named by Linnaeus. We have to write man Mangifera with a, uh, with a here. So, M with a capital letter and indica I with a small letter. Okay, so I with a small letter. So here, Mangifera, M with a capital letter and I with a small letter. I with a small letter we are writing. And followed by four words of scientist name. Okay, so Mangifera, Indica, which is followed by Linnaeus. So this is the correct option. So let us check whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So, these are the PYQs from the topic Kingdom Monera from the lesson Biological Classification. So, in my next video, I will be coming before you with the PYQs from the Kingdom Protista. Okay. So, thank you.